Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo has put out a press release talking more about the upcoming eShop for the Switch, and in it they advertise the fact that Nintendo will host a Nindy Showcase video presentation on Tuesday, February 28th at 9am Pacific Time. And along with that, the Nintendo eShop will be home to more than 60 indie games in addition to digital versions of their package games, DLC, and more. But the big announcement for these Nindies is the fact that Fast RMX, Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment, and Shovel Knight Treasure Trove will all be launch titles for the Switch. All three will be available right away. But it isn't all good news as Nintendo has confirmed that the Virtual Console will not be available on the Switch at launch. They're going to share more information about that in the future. However, if you do have funds in your accounts for other Nintendo systems, you can then access them using a shared wallet that works on the Nintendo Switch as well. Once you link the Nintendo Network ID and Nintendo account, and then that Nintendo account to the Switch system, this functionality will become possible. However, as a reminder, to access the Nintendo eShop at launch, a system update will be required, which is also going to be available at launch. However, the system update will download in the background and is designed to install quickly and doesn't disrupt any gameplay, so you can easily download it while playing Zelda. So, yeah, it's great that we're getting Fast RMX and Shovel Knight at launch. Those are two big indie titles, along with plenty of other great indie titles at launch. So it seems like there's plenty of content for the eShop at launch, just no virtual console. And while that is worrisome, I don't think that's a major problem, at least for me personally. And that's because I'm going to be playing Zelda. I'm going to be playing Shovel Knight. I'm going to be checking out some indie games I had never played before. I'm going to be trying out Bomberman. There's plenty of games for me to try out on the Switch right off the bat. And hopefully, if there is a lull in releases, the Virtual Console will be ready by then. It's hard to say for sure. Hopefully, Nintendo finds a way for us to transfer up our Virtual Console titles to the Switch in the same way as this wallet. We'll have to see, but I don't think it's a huge deal at the moment. It could become a big deal if it takes a long time for the Virtual Console to appear, but for right now, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. With all that said, thank you for watching, and of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain as we'll be uploading tons more Switch coverage throughout the day. Until next time, bye.